be showing you how to get your perfect beach waves without any heat damaging at all. You're not even going to be using any kind of heat utensil to make your hair the perfect beach wave. So first you're going to start out with just your natural hair. Um, then you're just going to brush it just so that it is after you take it out it's not going to be like tangly and you're not going to need it to brush it a lot. So after you do that I just have a bottle of water. You can use um, just normal water which is what I'm using or you can add a little bit of salt which will add to the wave but I'm just using normal water for now and you're just going to get your hair really wet. You can also do this after a shower but I did not want to um, completely get my hair wet because I want it to dry a little bit faster. So you're just going to get your hair completely wet. Okay, so now my hair is completely wet. Um, it's pretty damp. And I'm just going to comb it out again. And you can just use normal comb like this. And then you're going to section it out because um, the bigger sections you have, the longer it's going to take to dry. And um, it's going to be... Um, but it's going to be bigger waves if you want bigger sections. But I'm splitting my hair into four sections. So you can do that. I'm taking the two front sections. And then I'm splitting um, my hair in the back into two sections. The hair that I have left. All right, but I can just leave that back there for now. Alright, so I'm taking my first section. And I'm going to um, start with this part, I'm going to split it into two halves, and basically you're going to be doing a rope braid. Um, you're going to twist your hair, both the two pieces, you're going to twist them the same way. I'm twisting them both away from my face. Then you're going to take the back piece and put it over your forward piece, and you're going to, just going to do the same, but you're going to continue to twist them away from your face. Alright, so you do that all the way until it's down to um, the end of your hair. Okay, so once you get all the way to the end, which I have done, I'm just going to take a small hair um, elastic and I'm just going to elastic that off so that um, the twist doesn't come undone. And I'm not going to just leave it straight, I'm going to bunch it up. I'm going to take the last one and pull the rest of my hair in with that. And then you're going to do with do the same thing with um, the other four pieces of hair you have, or the four sections you have. And um, you can continue wetting your hair as needed, but it does need to be damp because it needs to, um, the water is what is what is like turning this so that it can start to form to your hair. So, yeah, just keep wetting and do the other three sections. Okay, so all four sections of my hair are rope braided. And um, I do look a little bit silly. But remember, this is not the final look. Um, this is kind of like having your hair in curlers. And if there's any spots on your hair that you feel like didn't get wet enough, you can go ahead and just get those, re-get them wet to make sure that they are going to be nice and curled and have this nice beach wavy look. So um, yeah, and then we just wait for it to dry. Now my hair is mostly dry, so I'm just going to begin the process of taking it out. So you're going to want to undo your little hair tie and you're going to untwist your hair first from the two sections that you have and then you're gonna get, wind up with or you're gonna end up with um, two like wavy looking sections so you're gonna just take your fingers and kind of untwist that and kind of separate it out and you're gonna do it that with both sides or both 
happens and you're just going to kind of comb through that with your fingers. You don't really want to use a um, brush to do this because you'll kind of lose the texture and the wave of it. It will kind of flatten it out or make it look way too volumized. So you're just going to do that with the other three sections. So I just took all of them out and just kind of combed through it with my hair. Now you're going to take, um, I have a wide, very wide toothed like pick kind of thing and then a um, comb. I'm just going to use this and kind of pick through it at the top and then also at the bottoms just to kind of smooth out the top a little bit and then I'm going to take the comb part and just kind of push it out here so that it looks more volumized and kind of messy. You want it to look a little bit messy because it's perfect beach waves so I mean you're just in the ocean and stuff like that. Then um, you can take salt water which is what I have in here and you're just going to spray that on your hair and just kind of scrunch it and that is the look of your beautiful perfect